Hello guys, 14 days ago I bought a pair of these Night Eye H4 bulbs. These are LED replacement bulbs that you can replace your halogen bulbs. Uh, the Night Eye company seems to be a fairly not well known but a popular company when it comes to cheap LED bulbs uh, from eBay, AliExpress, and uh, Amazon. And I think a lot of companies seem to almost be copying the style of packaging and uh, overall business strategy of this company and uh, I don't really think that the products that Night Eye sell is uh, something that they really make themselves because you can find these types of bulbs from a lot of other manufacturers as well so the bulbs that I will be testing here will probably perform the same as a lot of other bulbs that looks similar that you find on those sites as I told you. And they claim that they will be 8000 lumens. I'm not sure if they mean a piece or a set, but even if it's two bulbs of 8000 lumens, that is just ridiculously high. And in today's standard, if that were to be true, these would probably be so hot that they would be glowing. So I am guessing around actually 1000 lumen for each bulb, so 2000 lumen in total maximum. 6500 Kelvin, so a little bit white and maybe a little bit of a blue tint and this is the H4 socket that I got them in. Uh, I think the packaging seems really nice and that is maybe a reason why people get them. It looks a little bit professional even though it's just a standard uh, paper box. You get a manual, it's just basically how you fit it and also like uh, a warranty card that the store owner is going to sign but of course it's not signed so I'm not sure how they would fix the warranties. But inside here there's nothing special, the bulbs are just placed in some foam and I have to say the LED bulb construction itself seems to be really nice for the price, I wouldn't really complain when it uh, comes to quality. The connector seems to be nice. It doesn't really have a driver, which confused me a little bit because uh, all high performance bulbs use uh, a driver because they regulate the LED's current and also voltage for it to perform its best. So it doesn't really have any active cooling and with uh, high performance bulb LEDs they actually produce a lot of heat and the heat doesn't really transfer with uh, a race like a halogen bulb it's like stays in the bulb so therefore you need a lot of cooling uh, otherwise everything seems nice you have this socket here that you uh, plug in and then you just stick in the bulb and twist it uh, in the right direction and you have the shield facing upwards and this shield here is made so the light beam pattern uh, will try to replicate a halogen bulb so here we have the beam pattern from the night eye and I would say it's fairly good but of course not perfect we can see the line up here like somewhat separates and want like follow it like a flowing uh, thing down here so it got some separation in this part but otherwise it seems to still get the beam pattern a little bit right here I have placed the lux meter at a random place but as you can see on the screen there the brightness is gradually dropping and it's because of the heat the diodes can't perform if they are not cooled properly so we'll see how it looks after 30 minutes and now a half an hour later we can see that the base is actually 83 degrees and uh, that means that the tip where the LEDs are is probably over 100 degrees and that is why the brightness is going so dramatically down. So here you see the beam pattern again and you see all of those smaller black dots those are the places where I used a lux meter and made the readings. And I tested with the night eye LED bulbs after 30 minutes 
and after one minute and then I also compared it to a brand new Nightbreaker uh, Ostrom bulb H4 and also some other high performance uh, LED bulbs after one minute and also 30 minutes so all of the bulbs were able to heat up and then we will see uh, how they perform when they get hot as well. This graph here is readings that I got from Lux testing the NITAR H4 bulbs in a Honda headlight and as you can see on the graph there is a really big difference after you have driven uh, 30 minutes so the performance that you first get when you turn on these bulbs you can't really rely on what you are seeing in those tests you have to see what the bulbs perform after 30 minutes and you can see uh, the performance is much worse so if you add up all of the lux reading for the different times uh, you see that you lose around 30% of the light that you first had when you started the bulb and now I have to say that is not uh, ideal this graph here is the readings that I got after using the night eye h4 bulbs after 30 minutes and the night breaker bulbs and also a high performance LED bulbs with some Philips SETI S uh, diodes and some good cooling efficiency and we can see overall the board you can see that the high performance bulbs that were more expensive uh, really outperforms all of the bulbs and the higher spots are the hot spots and you can see that the brightness in the hot spots are more than doubled than what you find in the night eye and the night eye bulb is even worse than halogen in the hot spot and overall it just seems to be worse and it just gets over the halogen bulb a few times and when comparing here we can definitely see if you put uh, more money into your LED bulbs uh, you can find some good quality high performing bulbs but otherwise I would just run with halogens uh, for the performance the only good thing about the night I H4 bulbs is that uh, for the coolness factor you get whiter light even though white light doesn't really perform as well as a yellow light in wet conditions for example uh, but uh, the only good side about the night eye bulbs is that they probably have a little bit better lifetime than a halogen bulb but compared to a better LED bulb uh, I think that the lifetime performance uh, the light pattern and everything is just much worse. So here is the conclusion of the testing. Uh, first overall this is the numbers from across the board of all of the points that I measured and we can see that the night eye H4 LED bulb is actually 22% less bright uh, comparing it to the baseline the Austrian Nightbreaker H4 halogen bulb but keep in mind that this halogen bulb uh, is a, like a performance bulb that they claim is 110% brighter but you see that uh, the Austrian bulb is a better option even though it's maybe more expensive than some other halogen bulbs but overall 22% less bright than a standard halogen bulb and then we can see overall the high performance more expensive LED bulb was actually 42% stronger than a brand new uh, H4 Nightbreaker bulb. Uh, sorry for the pronunciation there, I'm a little bit tired but you can see that it was performing much better and when we look at the hotspot the night I H4 LED bulb had a 23% uh, less bright hotspot which means that the uh, light is going to be thrown a shorter distance down the road and we can see that the high performance bulb was around 76% so brighter in the hotspot so if it were to be a uh, hundred percent brighter that would mean if the halogen 
with throw light 100 meters down the road, the lead bulb with 100% with then throw the light 150% 150 meters down the road. And also I also tested light scatter but uh, the light scatter was really good on all of the bulbs and the light scatters was like uh, following the overall brightness so the high performance LED bulbs they had around 40% more light scatter but they were overall also brighter and the night eye was a little bit more light scatter than halogen but still less than the H4 uh, halogen or the H4 performance bulb but the H4 performance bulb was also just fine with light scatter so I hope you find this test uh, good and I think this is one of the only more conclusive tests and actually testing the bulbs and not just uh, wanting you to buy it so I would make some money off your uh, contribution through Amazon and such if you know what I meant there but thanks for watching